Hello to my Taurus. This is Queen Amora coming to you with your general reading. All right, Taurus, you're closing out a cycle. Closing out a cycle. We're in the last quarter moon phase, even though technically the moon is a waning crescent moon, but we're in the last quarter moon phase, so we're closing out a cycle. For those of you all who like the moon phases, who like to follow the moon phase, that's the phase we're in, waning crescent moon phase. All of these videos are timeless, but we're closing out a cycle. The moon is in Virgo, for those of you all who care to know. Let's see what yours looks like as you're analyzing this cycle. What did you learn about yourself during this cycle? What did you learn about yourself during this cycle and how emotions can sneak up on you during this cycle? Talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign, wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. Even for my cross watchers, look at your birth chart. We have a link for birth charts below in the description. Um, pull your birth chart, find out where Taurus is in your birth chart. But somebody is leaving behind a fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody's leaving somebody behind. Somebody's just like, they're just done. But somebody put you in survival mode situation. So it's two energies you're leaving behind. Either they have a, <clears throat> either their fire sign is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Either their, excuse me, either their moon sign is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or their sun sign is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you're leaving them behind. Eight of Cups. Your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. You're not confused about anything. You're tired of being in survival mode. You are just done. You're done. Your motivation has completely changed. Now that you're back in the um, now that you're back in the saddle again, you're at a higher frequency. Somebody's about to get on the plane and and make a trip. You're you're completely done. Your motivation has changed because something does not give you an opportunity to process your emotions. And that is what I keep saying to my earth signs. If you especially your fixed sign, if you don't get if you around people who are keep rushing you to process your emotions, it's always gonna come out wrong. <laughs> They blow torching you. It's like putting too much sun. You try to plant some seeds and you want something to grow. You want your money to grow, love life to grow, friendships to grow, all that. And somebody keeps putting all this hot sun, you know, on your you, you blow torching you, instigating, rushing you. All You can't even give things a chance to grow. You first get married to somebody. This is because we're talking about relationships. You and somebody trying to get together, y'all trying to grow something, and people are just instigating, causing a bunch of confusion. That is what will cause people to move on. If they feel like they're in survival mode, they just, it, it, you can't, somebody will figure it out. <laughs> now that you got all these opportunities coming your way, something has pushed you into now saying enough is enough. Something has now pushed, pushed back and caused you to say enough is enough, Taurus, and good for you. It's about time. So now you're learning how to move on from past heartbreak and deep disappointment. Now somebody is getting it. You got some good news trying to come in. Got some good news trying to come in. Yeah. There's something about um, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is getting ready to start feeling a lot better about, you know, really taking your time to slow down and analyze and detach from confusion around family. Family have opinion about stuff, but you got some family members, they want you to rush and hurry up through stuff, you know, or they not even see this right here, or they want to invite you to stuff. Like this person right here feels like they're in between these two adults right here. Somebody may have always felt like um, um, they've included in stuff, and but these kids back here also look like they're having a good time too. So this kind of sort of speaks to um, valuing and devaluing. Some family members, if you don't answer stuff fast enough, if you don't respond to stuff fast enough, guess what? They don't value you. You're taking too long. You don't even get a chance to process stuff fast enough. You ain't pick up the phone fast enough. You ain't respond to a text message fast enough. How come you ain't come over when I called you? Like this, it's their way or the highway, putting everybody in, in, in survival mode all the time. So now somebody is learning 
when you bring another person into the fold, because somebody has love coming across, if you have any, you know, you got good news, but if you got love coming across your path or whatever, somebody is learning to push back. If somebody is finally learning how to push back with family. It is about time. Here's a death card. Somebody had to finally learn how to say push back. Maybe somebody need to get around some other Taurus who have learned how to stand up to their own family members. Maybe you need to get around some high vibrating Taurus that learn how to stand up to their own family members and say, listen, you're not going to be rushing me just because we connected because we emotionally tied together. You're not going to be rushing me. Uh-uh. Here we have the three of cups here. So somebody is grateful. You know, somebody is now in a posture of gratitude. Your conversation is now different. You know, so somebody's in posture gratitude. I do see so I see your money growing as a re, as a part of that because you, you're ending a relationship with somebody. You're ending up your head and heart and no longer at war with each other. It's two energies you're done with. You're completely done with them. Your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. They put a younger person, they put somebody in danger. You are done. You are done. It's a, it's a Scorpio and a Leo who put somebody, you know, using some shady people. They put them in danger. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what source is trying to tell somebody is like, you know, when people watch readings, they go, like, oh, this for, yeah, it, it, entertainment purposes and stuff like that. But why do people even tune in? Why do people tune in? You don't have to tune into tarot. You can listen to your own dreams, downloads, your own feelings about things. Source is signs and it signs all around us. Somebody has some kind of emotional attachment to somebody, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, whether y'all worship together, whether y'all families know each other, some kind of emotional connection. Somebody was not catching something. And that is how something slipped through the cracks and got somebody hurt. So now somebody's done with your shady people altogether. Now somebody's done with shady people all together. And you're grateful that some good news is coming across your path. So Ace of Cups here. So some new compassion is coming across your path. Somebody's, but somebody was around some energy vampires, just drained and confused. Drained and confused. So yeah, um, there's a Scorpio crying about something now because something has ended. Something has ended. There's very unhealthy emotions attached, attached to something. Now you're learning how to protect yourself from something as you're rebuilding. Yeah, somebody's rebuilding. And younger person is taking notes. You have a lot of ideas about a lot of things. You learn how to take notes. You're learning how to take notes. You're learning how to listen to your intuition now. You know, something had to something had to happen. Or somebody's going it now. You're listening to high priestess inner. Now somebody is like paying attention on the rebirth side, learning how to be a little bit more meek, calm down, get away from energy vampires, which is draining everything, right? So, source is saying, you're no longer going to be indecisive about two types of energies anymore, right? When you're dealing with, you know, um, people who have gone through depression, somebody's no longer going to be indecisive about it because, um, yeah, so, you're Capricorn involved in something. That was being used as a phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when somebody looks back, somebody has um to um keep moving forward. It's time to do a root chakra cleanse. 
somebody has an ex, ex love interest, ex friend, ex colleague, ex somebody, somebody you used to worship with, ex, some ex, whatever. Ex is not always ex love interest. Um, that wants to return to your life. It could be a lot of exes. It could be ex, ex, you know, group you were in, but you know, somebody's very creative. So you could be, it could have been an ex singing group you were in or ex, uh, working group you were in, whoever, but kind of do a root chakra cleanse. Time to ground yourselves. Time to start dating again for somebody much better lies ahead, but put yourselves first. Your ancestors are very proud of you. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Um, that's what I'm saying. When we talk about high priestess energy, a lot of people will say that you're crazy because you're getting these downloads and dreams and feelings and things about stuff. And so that's what I'm sort of saying. Maybe you need to get around some other Taurus that are actually very comfortable with their high priestess gifts. I'm talking about men and women who are very comfortable with their intuition. Very comfortable with their intuition. Where people have called them crazy. And they like they don't care whether people call them crazy or not. They listen to their intuition. Maybe you need to get around them people. But you have the gift of premonition. That's a forewarning. Source tells you ahead of time however they come through dreams for you. They could come through daydreams, night dreams, or however they come through. And somebody kept ignoring stuff, kept being drained. Your body was giving you all kinds of stuff. You was getting dehydrated, thirsty all the time. You know, kept it, you know, just your body gives you all kinds of, you know, especially as an earth sign, your body was giving you all kinds of, maybe your skin was extra dry. Maybe you kept feeling like, okay, I just put lotion on. Like, why is my skin so dry? Why are my lips so dry? Why does my mouth feel like a cotton mouth? Why, why do I keep drinking all these extra caffeinated drinks? My energy level is going down. Why do I feel lightheaded and dizzy? But listening to people who think they know all of this about people's mental health, depression, that's all somebody was going on. Instead of listening to your own intuition from source, the living water from within. Didn't want to hear another thing. So source is saying, you can really start following your own star, meaning source. Um, so, but yeah, somebody get ready, but yeah. be patient. The answers you seek are coming, but yeah, these two energies right here, source is saying you, you may have been indecisive about them before, but you won't be indecisive again. You won't be indecisive again. They put somebody in a very compromise, put some people in a very compromising position and you were confused before, but you won't be confused again. So I do see soulmate energy in your life. I see soulmate energy in your life. <clears throat> so like I'm saying, it could be somebody, like I said, soulmate energy in your life is sometimes it's a romantic interest, sometimes it's not. But um, whoever the soulmate is in your life, I do see um, you all creating a... Um, like multiple streams of income to get speaking of water and creativity i see you all creating multiple streams of income together around um mental health and just working with other people is what i'm seeing here like something is going to make you like this is going to be part of your legacy and that's where you're going to see your money grow but definitely not around shady people period y'all done whether they family member shady or nothing people being sarcastic and messy not helping people you know something was very disappointing for you all but somebody is now learning that when people only come around when they want something from you gossiping that's when you're going to cut them off Something had to teach you something having to do with your romantic relationships and people, your own family being messy towards your own. Re somebody wasn't catching it. Somebody was not catching that. Your own family members um, being talking trash about people in your own house. Somebody wasn't catching. Oh, that's just how my family is. That's just how they are. But something happened for you to snap out of that trance. Something happened for you to snap out of that. And that is what you can ready to toss into a burning bowl. That's when you can ready to say, no, nah, that's unhealthy. I don't want that in my vault door ever again. I don't want that in my vault door ever again. 21, I am inspiring. So you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. People start calling people crazy. 
How in the world is that helping somebody? They just imagine and making up stuff. You know, okay. Humility. So allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and I delight in receiving it. There's an excellent book that I've been referring people to. It's excellent, excellent, excellent. It is called Adult Survivors of Toxic Family Members by Dr. Cherie Campbell. Excellent book. It is written in first person, and she is writing it from a personal experience, and she's using other, you know, patients and stuff that she's worked with, but somebody getting ready to spark spend some a long time. Recharging. See all this water right here? Because you've been pouring out so much to loved ones and these emotional connections. You can really start recharging. Just, just being near water, listening to water sounds, all of that. You can really recharge your high priestess gifts. All this pouring out and talking to people about people's mental health and all. They know better. They know best because they work in the field and all this other stuff but yet and still they treat you they give you the cold shoulder don't know your worth and your value until they need something from you something woke somebody up something woke somebody up so that's what you that's what you're going to see as far as your health is concerned that's what you're going to see as far as your health is concerned with this full moon i mean excuse me not full moon as we're closing out the moon phase that we're in um, this week, as everybody's gathering for, you know, giving thanks and and just gratitude and things like that, you're going to be grateful that you figure something out, that you are closing out cycles in love. Some things are just not good inside your life. The trash talking, the gossiping, the people who only come around when they want something from you to give you and your love interest a cold show everybody you dating they got an issue with it everybody you get married to they got an issue with it your friend they got an issue with everybody so it's just saying that's not that's not gonna be welcomed anymore i release the past today i walk towards perfect health i am so grateful for my life i am alive well and thriving i am blessed with an abundance of energy my body is recovering in every way They got an issue with everything you choose to do. And everybody's been telling you all around. Every time they might give you a compliment, their eyes go right up in the air. These are family members, people who say they love you. They ask somebody, oh, so-and-so, oh, they really, really helped me. They really poured into me. These are family members, eyes going right up in the air, jealous. Like somebody just couldn't even see it. <laughs> somebody didn't want to see it. Got a spell on them, family over everything. But you saw something now. Affirmation for kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I am full of goodwill towards those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I'm grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile can make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. Yeah, keep pouring into people. But again, if your family got issues with every single person you bring into your, your they got an issue with everybody. It's them. It's them. There's no way in the world you can come from family where they, they poured into you and they see you as part of the family. You don't have a voice. Your money is getting ready to skyrocket because you just you just figured out how energy works. You're making room. You just figured it out. You just figured something out. So good for you. burning bowl ritual there it is get it fired up write it all down and so the letter is going to read dear people places and things you can put the name whatever in there i want to say thank you for being such a great blah 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 people places and things for the past whatever amount of years but this doesn't serve my highest purpose anymore for where I'm going. You're going to go right inside your vault door with your multiple strings of income. Close that thing out airtight because no spell work, no darkness, nothing is going to enter that thing. And you're going to start growing your wealth, your wealth, wealth and whatever it is you're growing. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.